Hello, this is Jesse Bourne coming to you from Westernville, New York. So today I'm going to be shipping out the Secret Sista puzzle chests. And what I've got to do is order boxes and mailers for those and a little bit of foam packing because I'm going to be shipping one of these across the pond and I don't want it to be damaged in the transportation. So I'm going to be hopefully finding some good packaging for that. I'm a little bit nervous about that, but we'll see how it goes. So somebody told Uline that I was going to be shipping these things. So Uline sent me this catalog kind of conveniently so I'm gonna be thumbing through that a little bit seeing if I can pull out any deals and then I'll go over to my computer and I will get on their little website and see if I can order some now the nice thing about Uline is they usually ship the products the immediate day after that you order so it should be getting to me tomorrow which is nice because as you can see here I have one two three of these sitting here and then I just got to put the glass in this one and the glass in that one and then I have all five ready to ship um, also a big thank you to everybody who ordered for for final edition of these chests. So I will be making a whole bunch of these for the people who signed up to buy one and uh, uh, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna be having some more help in here, but um, it's gonna be interesting. And also the people waiting on the Jack in the Boxes, those are coming soon. And uh, finishing these, will get that out of my way so then I can focus more on the boxes. So all good things, right? What I'm really looking for here is corrugated cardboard mailers and possibly some foam. Those are pads. You know, maybe I don't need pads if I can just get this. Maybe I was I was planning on actually double boxing, but if I had cardboard pads, then I could just cut those up and then it'd be like it was in two boxes. That might be that might work good. Let's see, what's the price on that? 20 by 14 would be nice. 50 per bundle. Uh, it'd be okay. So that'd be a few bucks. So anyways, that's a maybe. So the other thing we need is some foam. Now they have the big bubble foam or they have the small bubble foam, depending on how big you want your air pockets. I guess I'll get a roll of that. Let's see, this roll here only runs $400, so that's good. I'll get one of those. Or maybe a couple of those to be safe. Okay, before I go ordering the boxes for shipping, I need to make sure that it fits. This thing is 21 inches by almost 14 by 12, okay? So if I got 24, that'd be up there by 16, would be just wide enough by 16. I might like that. 24 by 16 by 16 would give me space for some bubble wrap and maybe some space for some extra cardboard padding in there. Sounds good to me. Okay, well I just ordered that, so hopefully it works out okay. We will see. There should be a UPS truck coming tomorrow and then I will be able to patch these things up and send them off. Let's go. Okay, so now we have the U-Line stuff just came in off of FedEx. All this stuff just came in. We have cardboard here. We have a couple things of foam here. Right here we have our big oversized boxes and more foam. And so we're going to begin wrapping these things up and seeing how well they fit in the packing things there. It'll be interesting. Nice we have a pretty big open space right here. Um, this is my chest, so that, that's the one for me. And I left everything so it's not glued so I have a good prototype to go off of uh, when I start building the second batch so hopefully that'll go faster so we have Kevin over here finishing Jack in the boxes he's doing a good job we have Josh over here he's working on finishing that other one that he's going on today he's almost done with that so that's nice maybe I should uh, set this up and run a little bit of a uh, time lapse Okay, so it's looking like the box is gonna fit, so I'm gonna pack double thick cardboard around the outside of the box too, so that anything won't punch through the container. So also I lined up my puzzle chests here, and I'm just making sure that they all work nice. I gotta finish packing these up. We can't let these things be dropped, you know, and I think it comes down to how much care the postal service gives these packages. So I'm gonna make sure to write all over them, fragile, keep it up. I really want puzzle chest to stay straight up. I don't want it to flop over. Just because the drawers have a little bit of play and you don't want the weight of the chest itself to crush anything in there or damage anything. So, so long as they can keep it vertical, 
vehicle, we should be fine. So I really am going to emphasize that on the cases here. So I'll show you myself wrapping all that up and uh, sending them off. Okay, so now I just taped up all of these drawers so that nothing's going anywhere when I put it in the cardboard. So first I'm going to start wrapping it with the uh, foam bubble wrap, then we're going to go right in the box and we'll see how it goes. Obviously, I have to make sure that this box stays upright because I don't want this chest to lay down. So I'm going to make sure to flag it so that people are very careful with it, hopefully. Okay, so now before this thing goes anywhere, I just want to make sure that it's not going to be punctured through with anything because obviously I wrapped everything up pretty good, but I wouldn't want anything to push through, you know, like if it was on the truck or the guy's moving it, trips, falls. So I think I'm actually just going to test it with this chisel. So if I can puncture it with the chisel, then we have a problem. If it doesn't puncture, we're okay. So let's give it a try here. I hope the chest is okay, but that's not the only problem. The other problem is... The, our box shrunk. I don't know where the chest went. <laughs> 